Hey, it got 45 here. Got one of my more powerful handguns out today. Now that's a handgun. Actually, it's a shotgun, a Mossberg 500. And it might not look like your Mossberg 500, or your Mossberg, or your pump shotgun, but it is a pump shotgun in uh, the Mossberg 500 configuration. Just a little bit shorter. It uh, has had the, the grip work done. I picked this up from a fellow, and he had done some carving on the grip. Perfectly legal. It's all legal length and everything, but it is just a uh, the Mossberg 500 looks a little different, doesn't it, than uh, what you might see uh, on a hunting gun rack. It is uh, just over 18 inches in length, the barrel, and uh, it's all legal length, 12 gauge. And uh, those were some field loads I was shooting, some Federal 8s, uh, I guess one ounce, I don't know, just standard field loads. So, wanted to get this out. Uh, you have seen it just briefly in a couple of uh, videos and I keep getting requests to, to shoot this thing, but we, uh, you know how it is, till the right mood strikes, so we tend not to get something out. So I thought we would. It's a beautiful fall evening here. It's uh, actually, it's September 12th, you know, 9-11 uh, yesterday. Of course, I know all of you, most of you probably were watching a lot of coverage on that and thinking about that, and uh, that's a big it's a big day in our country and uh, even around the world for us to stop and take stock and think about all that craziness that went on, isn't it? But uh, anyway, we, uh, we feel sorry for a lot of those folks that were involved in that and a lot of heroes made on that day, for sure. But uh, a sad, sad time nine years ago. So anyway, we're going to, to fire this baby. We're going to fire some uh, standard, some more uh, just standard field loads. Let me try a few slugs. And we're not going to just, uh, shoot a ton, but uh, we're going to take a few shots and just show you a couple things. How even a gun this small, a shotgun, it, as long as you're careful with it and uh, you don't hold it the wrong way, you might not hurt yourself. I mean, it's a it's a handful when you're handling one that's been cut off like this. There's nothing like having a shoulder stock on a gun, but it will actually fire. Let me go ahead and load some, some more in it here. I'm jabbing. Safety on the Mossberg is different than the, the Remington. You know, it's right here in the back. That's fire. See the little red dot, and which makes it safe. It's really handy, particularly if you're a lefty. So it's kind of an ambidextrous uh, uh, safety there. It's kind of nice. And I think this holds two, three, four, five. Yeah. And. Uh, this one was a rib barrel at one point, so the fellow who cut that off actually cut off a pretty nice uh, barrel. Most of these you see cut off, it's just a standard barrel without the rib. So uh, this is, a, well, I guess, a Magnum version, two and three inch shells. It's uh, so a little bit heavier maybe than some of them. So again, the safety's right there. It's the biggest difference. Pump shotgun. So I'm just going to shoot a little bit, and, uh, and I might even put some, I will put some slugs in, and we'll sling a few of those just to show you. Uh, so you want to get a good grip on these guns whenever you fire them because you don't have a lot of weight and you don't have your shoulder absorbing the recoil. So if you're just to shoot it and be lackadaisical, you know, boom, the thing's going to come back and hit you, maybe in the face or wherever you have it, or it could hurt your, your belly, wherever it's going to hit, all right? It's not going to kill you or anything, but let's just take a few shots. Okay? So you can see I was putting shot on those targets at, the, at that range. Uh, even though it's got a short barrel with no shoulder stock, 
you can uh, you can hit something with it. I advise highly if you have one of these little guns and you see a lot of these in gun shops for sale, home defense shotguns, just be sure you get out and shoot it so you know what it's going to feel like and uh, how to hold it. That's my strong recommendation. So, see that's uh, that's as far across like any large room probably in anybody's house, you know, if you're keeping one of these around for home defense. And sometimes they are recommended. You know, if you don't feel comfortable with a handgun or a big long shotgun, you know, they make these with pistol grips that come down at 90 degree and you might grab one of those and like, that's just a ticket. That, that feels good. Uh, that's all I want. I don't want to learn to shoot. I'm not gonna go out and spend a lot of time on the ranges, but uh, you know, something like this might be pretty effective but get it out and shoot it and, and get a feel for where to hold, okay? Let's try a couple of slugs just for, for kicks. Ha ha ha, how's that for a pun? Because this is high brass and uh, most people would consider this unnecessary punishment, what I'm about to do. And I think maybe I've done this before with this gun. So if you don't know anything with high brass, we. We call this, uh, you know, you got low brass and high brass. That's not even real brass, but anything that has high brass, it's going to be more powerful, no matter what it is. <laughs> okay, I'll put a few of those in my pocket too, in case I decide to move around a little bit. All right, now I'm not going to shoot a slug. I don't think at anything here close. Uh, I'm just going to show that you can shoot a slug. And this isn't exactly recommended uh, types of shooting. Don't try this at home with a high brass slug and a gun like this. This is just something I'm crazy enough to do. Because it's going to kick hard and uh, you're not going to like it. the heck out of the gong. Now some of you folks that actually shoot a lot and know a lot about guns might be a little surprised at that. I, when I first tried that with this gun, if you'd have told me, hey, take that and, and see if you can hit the gong with it, I would just laugh at somebody. But, you know, as you can see, if you get a good grip on it to where you hold it steady and you get a good trigger release and not, you know, let flinching get into your mind because you know it's going to kick and you have to hang on to it tightly. Uh, ah. I don't know. Let's try a couple more regular rounds. So, but that shows you it doesn't matter. Uh, one of the themes, I guess, the threads of all my, a lot of my videos has been that short guns shoot really well. You know, the little Glocks, uh, small guns, little Smith and Wesson 642, whatever it is, little cars. That uh, the big factor in accuracy is the operator, the person holding the gun. And uh, it's not that the short barrel makes a gun necessarily inherently less accurate. It, uh, if you can figure out how to hold it and you're crazy enough, they actually do have some accuracy. So let's shoot a few more here. Okay. Sweet little gun. Uh, I'm having a holster made for it, kind of a shoulder holster. We got the action back. You know, I thought I'd just kind of carry it right there, kind of like a Dirty Harry special, and whip that thing out. Boom! Not bad, huh? So, 12 gauge Hickok right here. Nice little toy, and uh, that's probably enough shooting. I thought you just might like to see that. We've teased you with it a couple times. 
and it just is kind of amazing what a little piece of artillery like that can do uh, you know if you're, if you're willing to take a few chances with the recoil again if you have one of these or you buy one be really careful get the lightest loads you can find uh, field loads and, and try it out and just get a feel for what it's going to do and I wouldn't necessarily advise shooting slugs or high brass in it to tell you the truth uh, but anyway Hickok having too much fun again on a beautiful beautiful uh, September uh, evening and uh, you guys take care life's good